welcome back to my channel, it's Kat and today I'm going to do a story time for you about the time there was a monkey in my So to give you a bit of background on this story, my mum is Scottish English and my dad is Egyptian Armenian and they were pen pals in school. After a long time of communicating eventually they decided to meet up and so my mum went over to Egypt to visit my dad, who wasn't my dad at the time obviously. Um, Anyway, they hit it off really well and my dad proposed to my mum and my mum accepted and then she moved to Egypt and they got married and then I was And so this story is some time after I was born. So my uncle is a vet and he had a pet monkey that he kept in the courtyard and her name was Nora. And I was very young and you know, he had a pet monkey. I was fascinated by this pet monkey. I just used to love going down to the courtyard every day with my mum to see this monkey and feed it peanuts. And um, yeah, I, 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 lo I loved this monkey initially, but the feeling was not mutual and the monkey did not like me. Um, the monkey was unsociable and cranky and really, really, she would grab the peanuts out of your hands and eat them. <clears throat> but then she would lunge at the enclosure towards me and eventually I became very frightened of Nora the monkey. I stopped liking her. That's not true. I was fascinated by her. She was a monkey and I was a child but I was afraid of her. Um, so every day my mum would take me down to the courtyard. I would <laughs> sheepishly feed her a peanut. She would grab the peanut from my hand and then a short time after eating the peanut, lunge at the enclosure towards me. I was mighty glad that there was an enclosure between Nora and me. It made me feel just that little bit safer. Anyway, night in question. My mum puts me to bed and she turns off the light and she leaves the room. And I'm lying there in the dark and I suddenly start to feel really, really uneasy. And I don't know why. I don't know why I'm feeling really uneasy, but I just have this uneasy feeling. And I'm like, well, what's different about tonight compared to all the other nights? And then I look on my wall and I see the silhouette of a monkey. And it was Nora. Nora was infamous for escaping from her cage. And this night was no different to any other night. She had escaped from her cage, but this time she made her way into my bedroom and she's on the wall and I, I don't know how she managed to do it. She's like sticking to the wall and I don't know how she didn't fall off, but she didn't and, and so she's there. And I become terrified because if you remember, Nora was cranky, unsociable, unfriendly and didn't like me very much. Normally there was an enclosure between the two of us and now there wasn't. She was above my bed and I was terrified. So I remember screaming and calling out to my mom and my mom comes running in and I say, mom, mom, there's a monkey in my room. Nora's in my room, she's on the wall. And my mom's, she's having none of it, you know? She's just like, go to bed, it's past your bedtime, you've just had a nightmare, you know, this is nonsense, just go to sleep, stop being silly. And I'm like, no, mom, seriously, there's, Nora is in my room. There's a monkey in the room on the wall and I'm scared. And my mom's like, just stop this now. Enough of this nonsense. Go to your bed. If I have to come back in here, I'm going to be very angry. And so she leaves the room. And I, I remember like lying there scared in the dark thinking, what do I do? I'm terrified of this monkey and I'm terrified of making my mom mad at me. I, I just don't know what to do. I'm so scared and I'm lying there staring at Nora on the wall and then all of a sudden she moves. She moves across the wall and I'm like, that's it. I know who I'm more afraid of right now and it is not my mum. So I scream. I'm like, mom, mom, come in. Nora's in my room. There's a monkey in my room. And she comes in and she's like, not this again. She's like, there is no monkey in your room. We've had this discussion. It's a nightmare. There is no monkey here. And I was like, mom, she is in the room. Please listen to me. She's on the wall. She's, she's in the room. She's on the wall. She's above my bed right now. And so my mom's like, I've had enough of this. And she goes over to the light switch and she turns on the light and she goes, there is no monkey. 
key. And then she sees Nora on the wall. And she finally believes me. And she runs over to my bed and she grabs me. She runs out the room, shuts the door behind her. And I don't really remember much about what happened after that, but I do know Nora did get taken back down to her enclosure and put away. Um, so yeah, that's a story about the time there was a monkey in my room and my mum didn't believe me. See, we don't always make things up, you know. Sometimes we are actually speaking a lot of truth and you need to listen to us when we tell you there's a monkey in the room. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story and uh, I'm going to try do some more story times and maybe I'll get better with them, <laughs> with the practice. Go easy on me, this is my first attempt. Uh, also, I apologise if my makeup looks really dry and pasty and cakey. I'm currently recovering from the flu. I've actually coughed a ton of times throughout this video, but by the time you see this video, you're going to be none the wiser that I have been coughing my cuts up because I'll have edited that all out. But anyway, yeah, I'm recovering from the flu and it it's playing absolute havoc with my skin. I don't know what the, what is going on. So yeah, I, I apologise if my face looks really dry today. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you later and uh, yeah, bye. So yeah, if you like this video and you want to hear more story times, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll be putting up some more videos.